Y'all see that? <laughs> I'm sick. Okay. The car is clean. I look and I look and I look and I exit the app. But my legs. <laughs> my legs. Hey y'all, welcome to this week's weekly vlog. It is another week, another day. A new scalp, girl. I need to hurry up. I'm slow. I'm at moving slow. I'm about to head out. It's Sunday. About to go pick up some food. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm wearing. Oh my God, there's a gnat on my camera, girl. What is going on? I need to get that, that gnat zapper. What y'all tell me? I put it in my car. I just need to buy it because at this point, these gnats in the summertime, is just too much. It's too, too much. But let me go ahead and head out running late. I need to go pick up some food because the place is closing. So I'm gonna show y'all what I'm wearing. Y'all have seen this before. It's really, really rainy out. It's actually not super duper hot. So I'm wearing my naked wardrobe. Can you see? Or not set. One piece. Because it made me feel cute. Ew, ew. What is this? <laughs> How old am I? I'm gonna wear it with some tennis shoes and grab my bag that I wore. I've been wearing my salmon bag. You know, I talked about my outfit. This is part of the outfit, girl. Look at this. Y'all see this hair? When I tell you this wig was so easy to apply, it is insane. Like, you pull it out the pack, it's beautifully packaged. Like, it's everything. Like, this wig, baby. Like, look. Y'all see that hairline? No baby hairs required. No lace tint required. I pull her out of the bag and it was ready to go. Look at that scalp. It is... <laughs> insane and the movement y'all see that <laughs> i'm sick okay we're gonna go ahead and get into this hair and i want to say thank you to hair vv for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video because the hair is eating every single time every single time if you know anything about hair vv they try and set you up for success not failure okay so we're gonna go ahead and get into this hair i'm gonna give you more details and i'll meet y'all at the car because at this point i need to hurry up and go i'll be wasting time running my mouth Y'all know I can't get off the phone. I see y'all once we get in the car when we go pick up the food. So like I said, this wig is from Hair VV. And of course, I love the Hair VV packaging. You receive your wig and you also receive some gifts. I received a rat tail comb and some clips. And inside, of course, it's wig time. We're going to go ahead and open up this wig. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love the packaging. And when you open it up, you can see that this wig already comes pre-ready for you. Now, when you look inside the wig, you see that the wig comes with a fake scalp and an elastic band. Now, this wig is a 10 inch bob wig. This wig is a Kate short bob wig in blonde with dark roots. I chose the wig in a size small. I chose the lace color cappuccino. I will leave all the information for this unit down below. I also will leave the coupon code down in the description box below for $30 off. Get your money off, friend. Now, let's go ahead and get into this wig application and vibe out. bright can you see me girl because this hair has me looking bright right today is sunday and it's sunday wing day y'all know we like to order wings on a sunday so i'm gonna go pick up some wings we order uh honey barbecue wings extra crispy and 
teriyaki wings extra crispy i used to love a hot honey barbecue and a hot teriyaki but y'all know we both got acid reflux so at this point we're gonna just have to deal with not having something spicy when i tell you i got ready to go pick up wings that's what had happened it's sad <laughs> it's real sad girl i'll be leaving the house like i'm supposed to so i just don't feel like i get ready enough i don't know what it is about being in my 30s it just be like i want to get ready to be cute but i don't want to get ready to go nowhere i just want to be cute you know for the day just because to do nothing so yeah girl my day's been okay i've been working all day but you know it always makes it a little bit better just to be a little bit adorable <laughs> oh girl says it closed girl hopefully they ain't got our wings locked up in there well, i am back home from picking up the wings that was actually a while ago i just started i don't know if y'all can hear me our dryers on and that dryer is so loud but uh, we have the wings we have to heat them up i think i picked them up like it was like nine something and right now it's 12:48. So I did a little bit of work, and now I have to heat up these wings. What are you doing? But yeah, so <sighs> this sweatshirt is from Amazon. I really like it. I need to buy, see if I can find this and get it in gray and black because I really love this sweatshirt. Like I think it's cute. The only thing, this neck is a little bit mm, lazy, but it is. It's still warm. I put it in the fridge and it's still warm. So I'll put all this food in the oven. We're gonna recook it. I told them extra crispy, extra saucy. If it's not, let's see. I'll show y'all the wings. Let's see what y'all got. Let's see what we got. Are these the wings? I feel like it. See, those are the honey barbecue on top. Oh, the water's just dripping. Honey barbecue on top and the teriyaki on the bottom. We have plenty of those. I don't know if y'all care about I think these are fries. This is heavy. Tater tots. They didn't give us a whole bunch of tater tots. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of tater tots. And my husband's, um, I think this is burger. This may be a burger meat. Burger meat in there. And, wait, did they give us some extra? It feels like fries with. I think it's chicken meat and celery, celery and uh, carrots and all this stuff. I don't like eating restaurant celery and carrots. It just creeps me out. Are you getting up? If I said no, you don't have to. I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't know what you're doing. You don't know what I'm doing. This is not extra crispy, extra wet. It's not really tough. Are you going to put tater sauce on this? Oh, you did? Oh, I didn't see the top. Oh, it's good. Wings. Good. Make some extra sauce to put on top. Because once you recook the wings, they're like dry. I actually like this one. Sierra. That's who it is. Sierra had the blonde bob. What was the song she had with that K-pop guy? What was the song? How'd it go? Barbecue sauce. A little bit. That's a lot of bit. That's still a lot of bit. Look at that. Don't you need a sweet, uh, the show you want to Yes, I do. I forgot. That's the sauce. That's the sauce. <laughs> you know what I mean? A little bit of liquid smoke. Wah, 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 wah. A little bit of coconut aminos. A little, a little dab. And then we're gonna put some onion powder in there. Taste it. Taste. Come here, can you taste it? I mean, you put barbecue sauce on it. Yeah. Take it down now. Yeah. How cool would you do it? I'm do a little onion powder because everybody needs onion powder. Everybody. I don't care. 
And this onion powder is fire. Right here. Ooh, watch it. We don't use real sugar in this house, so. And the closest thing we use to sugar is brown sugar. Oh, we need to make waffles. We can trip it. This is different. I like it though. Mm hmm It's different. Oh no, that's different. Chase is. It's good. Tastes a little. I feel like it's gonna be good for my wings. So put that on top so they're not dry. I just don't like I don't mind reheating heating the wings because it makes it crispy. But then when they get crispy, they get dry. And you like your wings. He likes his wings like a little bit crispier. And I like mine saucy, but less crispy. So I gotta put an extra sauce on top. I think this sauce is good. I like it. I just hope a gnat don't get in it because these gnats is really getting out of my, getting out of control. Zebo, I think that's what it's called. That thing, Zebo, Zebo. Put it on the wings. A little drizzle, drizzle, you know what I'm saying? Put your cheese on there. Oh, man. I'm about to put this back in the oven. Let's yeah, go ahead. What, what you waiting on me for? You got an oven mitt, you got everything. You, you block it. Oh, yeah. Okay, stand up. You want some Hey y'all, but we are headed out to go get my car washed finally because hopefully we're able to get it washed because car washes in Atlanta on a Saturday are always just, it's always a mess. It's always something going on. Everybody getting their car washed at the same time. So hopefully we can find somewhere to get our car washed because we have dinner tonight with some friends. So then we're gonna go have lunch. We have just a couple of things to do today. And right now it's like, what? what is it like? Four o'clock ish, somewhere around there, four o'clock. So. I'm gonna go ahead and head out. I wanna show y'all what I'm wearing real quick. These pants that I showed y'all from Target and this top from Target and these shoes from Nike, but they're parachute pants. And um, I'm realizing I'm really, really short. So parachute pants are kind of like weird on my height once I put on shoes. Like, I don't know what, I feel like I was kicking my little legs. <laughs> Anyways, we're about to head out. Get up out of here. Cool, got my bag, but this is the full outfit. I don't know, I think I like it. I'm just trying to try different things that are comfortable on the weekends. But my legs, <laughs> my legs. But I have a ponytail today. I like ponytails in the daytime, wigs at night in the summer. I never stop wearing wigs, but wigs are always at night because it's just so hot. On my chapstick or my lip balm. Ready to go. I don't know. You don't tell me what you think. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'll see y'all once we leave. Once we head out. Okay, so we're here getting the car wash again. We're at the same spot that we went to last time. Look at these rooms. Like dust. Dust, dirt, girl. Hopefully, Let's see how cute she is afterwards. It's not too bad though. Yep. We just need a little bit of love and affection. We're just doing a basic clean though, nothing too serious. Said 30, 35. Said 30? 30, 35? It's hot too. Well, it's not my pants, it's my uh, skin. Okay. See, nah, you. It's, what over you. it's what's over your skin. My arms, I said my arms. Oh, I thought you said your skins. My your skin, skin. My, my skin is out. <coughs> See? But we're in this uh, Dunwoody, like, plaza area where there's a whole bunch of places to go, but we just never eat over here. Last time we ate over here was at? Oh, yeah, a tavern. Blech wasn't good 
at all. What's the place we're talking about? Bar and booze or? That's over here. Oh. See what we want to do. But what's this place called? We're at Bar Booze in Dunwoody because our, where we're getting our car wash. I don't know. They probably should be in the camera because it's mine. Where we're getting our car wash is around the corner. So. Uh, here at Bar and Booze, you could order like barbecue or like tapas. It's a pretty, um, it's a cutish spot. There's not many people that look like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's a cute spot? It's a nice indoor, outdoor bar sort of situation, but it's way too hot to sit outside. That walk took me out. <laughs> it did. The walk of the pan. Hi. I, um, yes. Yeah. Do you have um, pear juice? Pear juice? Yeah. Apple? We have plenty of other juices. We might have apple. Okay. Um, we do a lot of drinks with like cranberry juice, grapefruit juice, pineapple. Yeah. Yeah, those are the ones that are acidic. She can't have like acidic stuff. So the only <laughs> That's thing like is pear juice or apple juice. I didn't know if you had apple juice. We might have apple juice. Okay. Can I just do um, a shot of Class A Azul? And just with apple, if you have apple juice, apple juice, if not, just with nothing. Yeah. yeah. Pasta amigos and then lime juice. And then top that off with the club soda, please. And, 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 and no ice, please. No ice? No ice. Thank you. Usually they have apple juice. Well, no, usually they don't. So, this music's on, so I won't even be able to talk. But I guess I'll see y'all. Um, Later? I guess I'll see y'all later. Um, once we get our food, I ordered some smoked wings. So, excited to eat. Anyways, I'll see y'all in a second. <gasps> Is my deal there? Hopefully not. See y'all in a minute. <laughs> The car is clean. Y'all look at these rooms. They were so, you couldn't even tell how black they were, but look at them now, yay. And this is only like a $65 wash. So they didn't, I mean, they cleaned it. It's really like a really good and expensive clean. I'm sweating because it's hot. I need to get some new seat covers because these seat covers look like, I don't like them. I got them just to protect the seat because yeah, got people that jump in there. Yeah, like when the yeah, car is valeted, or even when I'm wearing new pants, like black ones, it gets on the gets on the interior. Ooh, it's hot. That's hell. Well, it gets hot. Ha ha. Okay. So we're headed to the liquor store to get my homegirl her gift, and then I'm gonna head home and get ready. Okay, y'all, so we are headed out for dinner. We had to rush and get ready. Ooh, where's the lighting? We had to rush and get ready. Ooh, I don't like these lips. Put some lip gloss on it. But we had to rush and get ready to get out of here. We're about to head to the Palms for dinner to meet some friends. So I guess I'll see y'all when you get there. I'm not sure if we're gonna film or not. Maybe, maybe not. But either way, we'll see you either in the car. But I want to show y'all what I was wearing. This top is actually an old top. I got my clothes over here. But I, this is an old top from Express. It's like a business shirt, but it looks cute with the skirt from Aritzia. Remember, we got this at Aritzia. And I have my Fendi shoes with my ankle bracelets, jewelry. I have the same necklace on. And um, my, uh, what bracelet is this? Kate Spade bracelet, non West Wash Girl, same thing. And that's it. And I'm gonna end up wearing it with this bag. My peach bag from Coach. And we're ready to go. Are you ready? Yeah. I hate the perfume I sprayed. I hate it. I sprayed too much. The top four. Okay, we're ready and we'll see y'all once we get back. Or while we're there. Whatever. We're ready to go though. <laughs> Get up out of here. We've been running around all day. 
Who knew Saturday was gonna end up like this? Nobody. Okay. Let's go. hey y'all oh this makeup looks so bad oh i think it's my sunscreen i am um cooking lunch it's like seven o'clock y'all know i don't know if we're ever gonna get our clock right um i'm cooking lunch i have these i'm gonna tell y'all these are my freaking favorite these rice ramen noodles the plain ones aren't as good but these rice ramen wakame wakame miso soup so good but they're gluten-free so for my gluten-free girlies with the weird tummies <laughs> these are really really good so i've been um having that you only boil them for four minutes and then the little sauce packet that sauce packet is so good it's probably really high sodium but like do i care no but right now i am in the midst of filming this wig video so that's why my hair look like this because i'm about to add the mousse to it but i had to get up and cook first because i'm just like mentally trying my best to keep it together i don't know like certain days i'm just like not in the mood mama got wigs to film and a job to do so i just have to hold it together and maybe i'll do a get ready with me chat about this but i have always been like a performer i knew how to put on a happy face but lately girl i don't know it's because i'm getting older girl i be feeling like not today <laughs> i don't feel like it so but i can't have an attitude while i'm you know working so brush it up i'm just a little tired today um that's all and i just want that move to get away from me get off i want that monkey off my back bro okay girl i'm gonna drain out so this is too much water drain out some of it Ooh. but it has like oh has a little miso Soup in there, girl, is so good. I need to go back. I wish I could find a value pack for it, but let me use my little paper bowl, girl, because our dishwasher is still being weird. Um, oh, I done spilled the soup, girl. But yeah, we haven't had the chance to call in maintenance to fix the dishwasher. Um, so we just stopped using our dishes. <laughs> But we haven't, ha haven't had a chance to call them in um, because we're always working or something. I can't have nobody in my place while I'm filming because it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like it can be like a lot. So since I work from home, you never know when maintenance is gonna come by. And girl, when they come by whenever they want to and it's like a whole thing and they making noises, it's just like annoying. So I don't. We haven't called them, so. Or we're not home, and we don't want anybody being in our house when we're not home either. So, it's a cast 22, when we are home, I, it's a cast 22, so, yeah. You know what I've been thinking about? Uh, I had spoken to, well, I've been thinking about going to the Beyonce concert. I really wanna go, but I have a weird, like I do not, I'm not a concert girl. Like when me and my sister would go to concerts, it would be because she bought the tickets. And she'd be like, let's go. And she'd be like, she'll have me go. But I feel like I'm a, I'm a regret it if I don't go. But I don't like going to concerts because I don't like being around a lot of people. I get really like, like anxious. And I like, my head is always on the swivel. 
and I feel like I can't enjoy myself. So mm, I don't know about going, but I feel like I should go. I'm sorry, my camera died. Right there, just my chicken with my noodles. The food's actually cold now because I've been working in between, so. But I can't really, not me wiping off my lipstick. Can't wait to eat it. I love how it tastes. And I try not to add extra salt, because y'all know I got a problem eating salt. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Y'all don't understand. I made these grilled chicken strips to add to them. It's hard. They're frozen, girl. I'm gonna be making them from scratch. That's a lot. The frozen pre-grilled, and I just add like sauce to it. Really good. Something about a noodle is so comforting. Mm-mm. <laughs> don't be all up in my way. <laughs> Oh, Tory Lanez was sentenced to 10 years? Hmm. <laughs> well, I actually had a dream about making the salad last night. It must have been because I was listening to like, sometimes I fall asleep and if my mind is racing, I'll put on like a YouTube video, put a headphone in to make myself go to sleep. But I think I was listening to Rodney the Voice or something. He must have been talking about that. And I ended up like dreaming about her. And she was in my dream. She was like sitting somewhere. And I told her, I walked up to her. I was like, Tori Lanez is here. And she was like, where is he? Like, somebody go get the bodyguard. So I told the bodyguard, who was just like really tiny. And she was like this, you know how Megan's a stallion. She's tall. And he's just walking with her, trying to protect her. But I was like, what's that little man gonna do? Girl, I could have walked you out at that point. I mean, we was the same size. Anyways, that was my dream. Why did I have a dream about Megan Stallion? Stallion? Let me, um, let me listen to Rodney and eat and relax for a second. Take a breather, because I have to get back to work after this. Finally, I am done <laughs> filming. Okay, so I started filming at, I think it was like four or five. It's 1020. Now I did lag a little bit with filming, but um, I need to put that back in the fridge. But I did finally get it done. Thank God. I want to spray this screen. I wonder if, a little alcohol on it. Ooh. Ooh. I feel like my lens be kind of dirty. Then I'm gonna follow it up with my glasses thing. Girl, that's why my quality has been looking subpar. <laughs> Cause I got a dirty lens. Girl, get some business. I know that's right. So anyways. So yeah, I finished filming, thank God. Um, the full wig days, like the dedicated wig days are really difficult for me because I be doing a lot. These wigs don't take that long to do technically, but for me, they do. Like I like my wigs to look a certain way, so I pay attention to detail when I'm filming. I pay attention to camera angles, lighting, all that type of stuff takes time to like curate and make sure like, because I do my own stuff, I put my own, like if my battery dies, the angle's wrong, the photos, like all that stuff takes hours. Post, B-roll, all that type of stuff is, it adds time to it, it's not just doing the hair. Sometimes when I say I'm filming four hours, I think people think that the wig is taking that long. It's not actually the wig, it's like everything that I'm doing at the same time. So the film, like, you know what I'm saying? Like that's, whatever. But I have to make dinner, and y'all know I make the same dinner every night. We eat the same thing. So we're having salmon. <laughs> Who's surprised? I'm having green beans. My husband's having um, mixed vegetables, mixed veggies, and um, potatoes. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that before he gets home. And then after that, I can plop this wig off and we can relax. Oh, that apple juice was so good. I love apple juice. I love apple juice so much. But I need to drink some water. Where's my water? Anyways, so yeah, this is my water. We need to get, um, I want to get like a filtration system or something because even if we recycle, I just feel bad for using all that plastic. But I don't feel safe drinking water. Our water in this area is always um, going out. You know what I'm saying? So I don't feel safe drinking this water. Anyways, um, 
What was I gonna tell y'all? <sighs> I was saying something earlier when my camera died. Like earlier today. Take my slippery elm. Slippery elm is good for your digestion. I take four of these a day between meals. Oh. Uh, oh, girl, I just almost choked on my water. Okay, so let me start dinner. Ooh, you'd be like, dang, 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 girl. Tomorrow I'm uploading a vlog, this vlog. Oh yeah, earlier today, I took a walk. Lately, I've been trying to do some, oh yeah, I said I was trying to go to the Renaissance concert. That's what it was. But lately I've been trying to do different stuff, like leave the house. Like I really wanna do a get ready with me, but I don't wanna get into like personal details. I don't know if you noticed, but I don't really go into more things that, I only talk about myself. I don't like talking about like other things that are going on in my life. But in reality, um, my mental health has been shot for personal reasons outside of now my marriage. <laughs> my marriage is great. It's my safe place. But other things um, outside of that, my personal mental health has been shot. And it's been infecting how I work. Like I've been in this really, really um, low space. I don't even know how to low space for a long time. I would say it's been months. I don't know if it's almost been a year. So um, I'm definitely going to get into therapy. What's ironic is even though I went to school for being, I got a psychology degree and I went to school for clinical mental health counseling. I do not feel like going to therapy. I just don't. I'm white knuckling it over here and it's not working. It's not working. It's not working. I feel like, I think Aaliyah had put up this post on Twitter. That salon song, you trying to drink. Cranes in the sky. She said cranes in the sky, really, it really be true that uh, none of that stuff works for you. Like the shopping, the drinking, none of that stuff works. And for me, every time I hear that song, that's what I said on Twitter. <laughs> I never go on Twitter, but I did respond to this tweet. I said, girl, I be feeling like I want to slide down the wall when I hear crazy in the sky. I do. I want to slide. I want to put my whole back on the wall and I want to slide down it. I do. I'm tired <laughs> and it's been tough. I don't even want to cry now. Wow. I cry too much online. Like I'm not doing that. It's just been difficult for like almost a year. It's been difficult and I'm tired. I'm so exhausted. I don't deal with conflict well and that's partially just me how i deal with conflict and since i've been dealing with this conflict i just nothing has been right but i started thinking like i just wish the conflict would like go away but that's not how life works i don't want it to go away i want it i want to learn how to get con have conflict and get past it <laughs> i'm just so tired i feel like i've been fighting for my life for the past I don't know how long a friend, but I'm like I've been fighting for my life. So I think it's been reflecting in my videos because it's definitely been reflecting when I'm filming because like I was saying earlier, I feel like I have to get in front of the camera and smile when I'm not in a smiling mood. <laughs> I am in generally happy with my life, but like there are other areas of my life that just need improvement and I just need to seek therapy to work through them. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how I can do that. I want to do that soon so I can just have peace <laughs> really soon. And every single day I go online and I look up therapists and then I look and I look and I look and I save and then I exit the app. Okay. I look and I look and I look and I exit the app. I've been to therapy twice. Once because I had to. 
um, because when you're getting your clinical mental health counseling degree, you have to go through counseling. It's just obvious. It makes sense. So I did go through what, six sessions. And then on my own, I went to go find my own therapist and I didn't really like her. I mean, I liked her, but she wasn't really um, serving the purpose that I needed at that time. Um, and I think she like no showed for one appointment or told me late, emailed me while I was in the parking lot. And I was like, oh girl, I can't do this. I drove a long way to get to her office. And no, that wasn't happening for me. So I ended up not going back to her. I think the hardest part, I think the only thing that I don't like when people say like, go to therapy, they make it seem like going to therapy is just like, oh girl, you just, um, Uber, you know, what do you call it? Calling an Uber. It's not like that. Finding a good therapist is something to commit to. And um, that's an excuse that I haven't tried. I could definitely try, but it's still not. Like finding a therapist is just like, you really have to find a good mat. I feel like I can end up divulging information and then you get to a point with your therapist where you're like, ah, oh, this doesn't work out. And then you start from point A again, especially when you, you know, the demographics don't match up. Like if you have certain traumas that you're trying to work out, it has to match up with the style of the therapist. Certain therapists have certain style, like it's a lot. And I just don't feel like it. So, but it's obvious, you know, because I don't feel like it, I'm hurting myself. So I need to get to it. Um, but maybe I'll do that tonight. Cause I have a couple of other things I need to do tonight. So maybe I'll do that tonight. I'll update y'all tomorrow, but maybe I'll do it tonight. Um, and maybe I'll book the tickets for Beyonce. Now I see that, my anxiety, I don't know. I'm gonna have to ask my sister if she wants to go. And if my sister don't wanna go, I don't wanna go. <laughs> These will be last minute tickets. I just do not feel like being in a crowd. I really don't feel like it. The thought of it makes me wanna vomit. I would love to go see that with him, but whose dog is that? In the hallway, girl, just hooting and hollering. But I was sign for this. That's what I need to do because I feel like it's impacting me in like a, where it's starting to impact work. And that's when I'm like, girl, you start to impact my work. You start to impact my money. Oh, girl, I need to figure that out. Oh, girl, I used to be able to white knuckle my stuff, myself through problems, like I said, but it's gotten to a point, I don't know, with, if it's age or something, girl, I can't do it no more. I can't white knuckle it, I can't. It's like getting to be impossible. So, um, yeah, I gotta figure this out. <laughs> I definitely need to figure this out, so. You know, my other thing is like finding a therapist, it's just a therapist talk. I like in-person visits um, because I feel like I can be the most vulnerable when I'm not just sitting in the house. Um, so, but that makes me nervous too. Like I have, I don't know if I got agoraphobia now, but girl, I don't be liking leaving the house like that, which is stressing me out. <laughs> Cause I love the sunlight. Like what is going on? So maybe like booking an appointment will help me A, get out the house. And B, help my mental health. I don't know. I don't even know if I'm keeping any of this in. Well, cause I'm running my mouth so much about something and I don't even know if I wanted to tell y'all all that. <laughs> so, I do have to give myself grace cause I always feel like I need to be fine. I need to be okay. I need to be happy. I need to be grateful because there's so many parts of my life that I'm so grateful for. And I thank God every single freaking day when I wake up, I thank God at night. And I have mom, me and my husband sit down and we talk about how grateful we are for like, the little things, like the smallest things. Every single day we do that. And then there's other parts where I'm like, mm-mm, <laughs> no ma'am. And I feel bad about it because I feel like I'm supposed to be like happy and like negative every single day because I do feel like, you know, I love my life, but ooh, I don't know. I have to give myself grace on not being okay. Like, I always feel like, oh, okay, I'm supposed to be okay. No, girl, you're probably not gonna be okay. And it's okay that you're not okay. Don't be okay. And it'll be okay. <laughs> but this morning, I said all that to say this morning, I got up and I took a walk. That's something I never do because I somehow my anxiety won't let me get out the house. It's like bad, it's like bad. And that's why y'all don't really see me out, out like that. I go to like, you know, I don't really do much because my anxiety is so high, but 
Today I was like, you know what? Switch it up, do something different. And I did, and I was proud of myself. Oh, I shouldn't be putting salt on it. Take a breather, relax. I did that today and I was so happy that I was able to just get up, go outside, take a walk, take a, take a deep breath. And I sat and I breathed quietly outside. I got fresh air and it was wonderful. Got my legs going, got my mind cleared. Came back like, okay, I'm ready to work. I don't feel like it, but I'm ready to work. I can do this. I was proud of myself today. What'd you do today to make yourself feel better? Being an adult, girl, it's a lot. Um, take my wig off and take a shower. Hey y'all, I just now realized I did not close out the vlog at all. Hopefully y'all enjoyed our little chat. There we go. This, I'm trying to learn how to work this computer, but hopefully you enjoyed our little chat. Um, baby, when you look up under this hat, it looks how I feel, girl. I had to throw on this wig and throw on this hat just to say I love you all. I really do appreciate y'all so, so, so much. Thank you for watching the vlogs. I love doing the vlogs, so I appreciate y'all so much. Um, yeah, y'all let me know um, what other videos you want to see because I have more space and time to do fun I have more space and time to do different types of content. So I do want to hear what y'all want to see from me as well. Like for other wig videos, chatty videos, stuff like that. Y'all let me know. Anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and close out this vlog. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.